This is Festive June. It's mashed walnuts, chicken breast, as well as pomegranate molasses made into a beautiful and healthy stew. Very high in protein, very high in healthy fat, and just an overall great dish. I'm gonna show you guys how to make it step by step. Start by sauteing half of the onions in olive oil and then brown your chicken until it is almost done. Then we're gonna add some turmeric and water and we're gonna have the water just over the chicken and let that cook for a long time. Then we're gonna ground all of the walnuts. You want it to be a little bit thick. After the chicken is done, we're gonna remove it from the pot and strain all that chicken stock out. We're gonna add the remaining onions and olive oil into the pot and then we're gonna add the ground walnut and cook that through. So you're gonna see that I'm pushing it down, trying to make it as fine as possible so that when it cooks, it's going to be very smooth. The next step is to add your pomegranate molasses. So once the walnut has dried out a little bit, as you can see here, is when you're gonna do that. Pomegranate molasses is very, very sweet. So I suggest adding a little bit, tasting it as you go, because you can always add more, but you can't take it out. So once you're satisfied with the amount of pomegranate molasses you have added, then you're gonna go and add your chicken stock back in, and you're gonna mix this really well and really slowly. You want the consistency to be smooth at the end, so it is gonna take some time watching over it, making sure that the heat is not too, too high to burn it. And once you're happy with the consistency, remembering that later on it's going to thicken up, you add your chicken. I like to cut my chicken into smaller pieces because I like having one piece per bite. But if you want chunkier chicken so you know exactly how much you're eating, then that's cool as well. Here you can see all that oil that's coming up to the top, but that is really healthy fats from the walnuts. You can choose to scoop that out with a spoon or you can keep it in if you really want to enjoy the full flavor of this dish. This is the end consistency that you're thriving for. I hope you guys enjoy this. Stay tuned for more Middle Eastern recipes.